dry, sweet, we hear all these terms being thrown around. Really what I want to do is help clear up what some of those mean. Let's say someone says they want a dry wine. Well, what they're probably referring to is a wine that has a lack of sugar or more acidity, tartness. Sauvignon Blancs are a little considered dry because they have tartness. Pinot Grigios, dry because they're very tart. Where Chardonnay is because they tend to be richer, riper, let, let go to be riper, and have a much fuller, more fruit character to them, are not considered as dry or lean. Sweet wines are just sweet. Sweet wines mean there's a, a perceptible amount of residual sugar or sugar left over after fermentation, and it's allowed to be sweet. But they still need that tartness to balance out the sugar. What are legs in a wine? Let's take a look. What it is is basically the wine is sheeting the glass and what you're looking for when you look through the glass is how quickly beads of, of wine form to drop back into the body of the glass. This wine has nice, slow, long, thick legs. Very, very good. Very nice legs. But the more it coats the glass and the more legs there are, and the thicker and slower the legs, probably the more viscosity the wine has, probably the more alcohol the wine has, typically more sunshine. We're gonna learn all that when we smell and taste the wine though, but that's what you're looking for when you're looking for legs. So we're gonna smell this wine. Hmm. What you do is you twirl it a little bit. Why do you twirl it? You're trying to turbocharge the aroma to jump out of the glass. That's really very much all you wanna do. So in a counterclockwise motion here, you're just gonna twist it, twist it, twist it, twist it, or you can do it just like this, counterclockwise, zip, zip, zip. Now I'm funneling, channeling, aerating it a little bit, turbocharging the aroma out. Get my nose right in that. Looking at that oak, butteriness, quality, Chardonnay. Then I'm gonna tip it over like this and look from the direct light down onto a white surface. And just look at how much fruit character there is, how much intensity of color there is. Now in a Chardonnay, it's gonna be much more ring gold or golden. Why is that? Much more fruit, much more warmth, much more sunshine. It's a more robust grape. Big test is, let's taste. Mm. Now this is California, Santa Lucia Highlands, beautiful butteriness to it. This is for people that like that buttery rich Chardonnay. This wine would be perfect for that. What are we looking for in red wines? Much different experience. We're going to swirl it, going to turbocharge those aromas. You know, what you want to get is dark fruits, currants. You want also earthiness. Like really, if you took a shovel and overturned some soil and you, you smell that sweet, earthy tone in the middle of a summer, a warm summer day, sometimes you'll get forest floor, which can have lots of leaves or pine needles or things like that. Sometimes people talk about cigar box. And basically what that is is a cedar box that maybe have a little tobacco in it, a little tobacco resin. That's not a bad quality. Again, some leathery tobacco cigar box cabs, Bordeaux's can have that quality. It's not a bad quality, it's considered a good quality. Okay, I'm gonna take this wine, draw a little bit in my mouth, and I'm gonna draw a little air through it. Basically, again, like we're turbocharging or charging the aroma to jump out of the glass here, what I wanna do is accelerate all, you know, kind of splash that wine through, get some oxygen in it, and So I kind of lean down, draw a little air, you know, get the wine in the front of my mouth, draw a little air, purse my lips and draw a little air through it. Basically, again, that gets it, that accelerates the sensations, gets the splashing all over the sensory components or the sensory, your sensors, I should say, in your palate. Sounds like I've been drinking a little bit, but that's okay. So cheers to you. Thanks very much. We'll taste a little bit more later.